Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Today I will be sharing my experience with Nokia A21104G, also famously known as the banana phone. So I have been using this device for a few months now and it's a modern version of the original Nokia 8110 which released back in 1996 and also fun fact is that there uh, in the Matrix movie which released in 1999 there there was a scene a uh, John Wick using the older version of the Nokia 8110 device so so it was really famous because of that device actually and it was quite uh, fantastic too back then so this was the newer version of it so the main reason why I bought this device actually I wanted to try out the KaiOS and I have tried uh, Firefox OS which actually the KaiOS is based on Firefox OS so I wanted to try it out how it's going on with the KaiOS the fire experience with the Firefox OS was not really great I have used like a year the device uh, I don't really remember the model number or anything like that but I used that device for years and it was not really good experience with that device so that's why I really wanted to try out how the KaiOS is going on with the the Firefox OS uh, score. So let's take a closer look to this device actually. So as you can see here, I have the black 8110 4G. Uh, there is a yellow version too, which looks pretty good. So banana phone and yellow color does go very well with that. So I got this device actually after five years. I don't really wanted to buy this device. It's specifically because of the OS. I wanted to try out the OS and the price of device, this device is not really that much. I got it for $10 right now. So it's pretty cheap. So I thought let's go and buy this device and try out the KaiOS. And also I will try to use this device in today's world, how it's going on, everything. So going with the closer look of this device. So it got a 2.4 inch display, 240 by 320 pixel and it is not really great display um but for the dumb phone i will say it's pretty okay and if you slide the panel here you will see the keypad here the keypad is actually not really great one um i never thought nokia will uh, make something like this the keypad is very disappointing i will say and the sliding mechanism here is also pretty bad it has nothing actually so you have to pull it out like this and pull it back there is no spring loaded anything like that like the older one you have to slide it and slide it up so and also there is a function with this sliding uh, panel actually so you can lock and unlock the device so it's like sliding up and down and also you can like receive and decline the call so that's two things you can do with this sliding mechanism and also there is a microphone here and one thing about this device is that this device is not really a flat device as you can see today's all the devices you will find all of them actually flat but this device have a little curve and this device actually give a very pretty good experience of like taking phone call and other things because you get a good uh, angle so that it's pretty good in, in that way I will say and going with the right hand side of this device we have a power switch here nothing else right hand and the left hand side we don't have anything on top we got a micro usb port and 3.5mm headphone jack and on the back we got our speaker 2 megapixel camera i think and also flash there is nothing else going on the build quality of this device is pretty good i will say but the material used actually not really good it's scratched up pretty badly as you can see although i got this one is second hand product so i'm not complaining about all those things but According to my uses of Nokia devices, the device is scratched actually pretty badly. Even in few days of use, I got many uh, scratches here and there. So let's go and turn this device on first. Then we'll take a look of the firmware and other things. So that's it turning on. Going with the spec of this device, actually it got a dual core processor and it got 512 MB of RAM and 4 GB of internal storage. It got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and also got GPS and also one of the thing of this device actually it's got 4G and also you can share internet from this device so that's a cool feature I will say for a feature phone feature phone should come with this feature and rather than that the the KaiOS is not really that special I will say uh, I will give you a few 
I will show you why I'm saying like that. So let the device turn on first. So as you can see, uh, the device is pretty nice. I will say it does work perfectly fine for me. But for the device, it was released in 2018, so the price was really high back then. But now you will find them pretty low price. So if I slide it now like this, so as you can see, it's locked. Like if I put it like this, it's locked the device. If you slide down, it will unlock the device. So that is the one thing it, it can do. The keyboard here, you can see here, it is pretty cramped. And if you really want to type on this keyboard, I will say, if you have massive health and like hands like me, you will have a hard time. And the keyboard actually not really great, I will say. I have used a lot of a lot of Nokia devices with the keypad and my experience with this device actually is pretty bad. Even I have a device here, Nokia C5, and the keypad here is much better. Even the display is much better than this device. Although this device is actually uh, maybe seven years older than this device. It's about 12 or 13 years old. So this device actually is much better, I will say. So the device, as you can see, the the if you are new in KaiOS environment, the keypad here actually is quite different than usual what you will get with the Nokia devices. So usually if you go like here and if you press this one, you can go back. But here it's different. It's showing the option key. So it's a little bit different. And if you want to see the um, like notification, all the notification, you can press here and you will see all the notification here. And there is a shortcut on the right hand side if you click on and you can turn on the Wi-Fi and other things and also you control the brightness brightness of the display is okay the display is quite sharp as for the dumb device nothing crazy going on but as I said the display quality is not really good it is a TFT display though so going with the device now we are trying out the UI so in the UI as you can see we have got a lot of application here and the application we are getting here is call log and contact and the app store and also we got message we got a camera application and we got the classic snake game but that snake game here is like it's a different one i don't really like the snake game which came with this device and we have a music player we have a photo gallery and fm radio and we have browser we have email clock and a video player google so you can search uh, anything from this application also and we have a um, Google Maps, which is which is also a web-based application. And we got Google Assistant. We got Twitter, which doesn't work anymore. We got YouTube, which is also web-based. And there are a few things also. We got our calendar settings, notes, and calculator, recorder, and unit converter. So there are a few games pre-installed. So two, th maybe these three actually. These are pre-installed games. Not really a great one. And I did install like the Facebook and you know, WhatsApp and Facebook came pre-installed with this device. And those works perfectly fine in this device. And these things I have installed like the like Snake Classic and UC Browser and there are a few applications. And this device did not come with any kind of file browser. So I have installed a file browser too, which does work, but it shows ad a lot. And also I have installed a proper version of YouTube here, which does work, but it takes a lot of time to load. Even the browser version also takes time to load. Although this got a 512 MB of RAM, but I don't really know why is that. But as you can see, it did load the YouTube. Going back, so let's go and check out the UI of the setting panel. Then I will come to other things. So going with the network and so first of all we are getting a tap like thing you can go left and right to see so they are categorized and we have a earphone mute mobile network wi-fi bluetooth and our gps sim call and volt network sharing and emergency alert these things and going to the personalized setting so we got sound display a search option and notice languages input methods and these things Privacy, we have a screen lock setting. If you want, you can put a screen lock. And the KaiOS version of this actually is... Okay, I cannot see here that one. I have to go. Okay, this is one thing which actually uh, takes a lot of time to use get used to. Like the back key is here. 
So I always like I I've been using Nokia devices for a very long time. So whenever I like using this device, I was tapping here. So pretty annoying for me. So and going back, there are a few things like storage and the internal storage that you can see out of for media they provide 2.21 GB and the, like 26 MB already used and I don't really know they have partitioned these things for application and media or not or they're just showing like that I have no idea about that and there is device information and account so that's this all what's going on with this device actually I'm going with the camera first so the camera here is actually pretty basic camera and um, although it is a 2 megapixel camera it is pretty bad I have seen much better camera than this in other Nokia devices the older Nokia devices got pretty better camera than this and there is no front camera too at least they could put a front camera as they put WhatsApp too here so there are few applications here and the snake game is pretty bad the experience is pretty bad with this snake game actually so let me turn it on hopefully you can see the snake game so as you can see it takes a lot of time to load and we can turn on the sound okay let's play press 5 so if you want to control you have to use for you cannot use this navigation pad to like control the snake you have to use 4 and 6 so that's, I would say, pretty bad snake game here. And going with other things like other games like these are actually demo maybe. That doesn't work perfectly. And you can actually download few games from the store. There are about more than maybe 500 applications available. Not much, but still you can download games and application for nothing more. They say the buy the game, so this is a demo version of the game. Almost all the games, pre installed games are demo. And I did install a few games, and I have been looking for a proper browser for this device actually. And I just found UC browser, which is working. And I was really looking for Opera Mini for this device, but I could not able to find Opera Mini. UC browser does work, you can like use Facebook and other things from directly from UC browser too. So it is working as you can see. It's quite fast too. It is, I, I would say it is better than the stock browser which it came with. And one of the excellent things of having this device actually it will be a battery backup. The battery backup of this device actually is pretty good. Uh, and the phone call and other like, for phone call you can use this device. It is pretty good for phone call. It got 4G and BOLT. You will not have any issue with phone call. But if you are really into messaging part, it is pretty good, like pretty bad keyword here. So for messaging, I will never suggest anyone to buy this one actually. It's pretty bad. I tried it, but it is pretty bad actually. Rather than that, for a dumb phone, I will say it, it is doing pretty well. Like you can share your uh, internet and you got 4G and you got a pretty good battery backup. And the build quality is good actually. So you are, it is not lacking anything, but the, the I don't really find the Kaiwas is good option for feature phone. I would rather use a Symbian device with uh, latest application like WhatsApp and other things. If they port those application in Symbian OS, I will I will prefer this Symbian OS even than Kaiwas. Kaiwas, I think Symbian can run pretty well in low like low and hardware than Kaiwas. And Symbian is much better, I would say, than Kaiwas. I will make a comparison video uh, with the Kaiwas and like uh, with the Symbian OS in later on sometime. So that's all about uh, Nokia 8110 4G. I would say not really a good device. As you can see, the sliding mechanism is pretty bad. If you do it slowly, it doesn't work. Actually, sometimes sometimes work. But as you can see, it didn't work now. You have to put it forcefully. Maybe it is getting old, that's why it is the mechanism is not working, but it is pretty bad actually. Like this, typing like this, it's pretty bad. And also there is no more like Spotify or anything like that. The 4G, like a 4G, 4G view of storage is pretty, uh, I think, considerably good. You can put few music there, but the speaker quality is not really good here. It's pretty bad. I don't think you will listen music to using this device. 
but there is a earphone jack the bible so if you really want to listen music you can like listen with you plug in the earphone it will give you a decent like decent output audio output so that's wrap up my thought on this a21 104g if you have had any experience with this phone or have any questions feel free to share them in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for the more tech reviews and discussion until next time stay tuned thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time